children in this lesson we will learn about the factors by multiplication one day the king of the jungle gave 10 hens each to golu chanda and appu and asked them to build a home for them but he kept a condition the condition was that the three of them would have to build different types of houses for the hens and in a manner that in every row of their house the number of hens remains the same they will get 10 gold coins for building the houses correctly next day the king came out to inspect the houses built by them first he went to see the house built by golu golu had built a long house like this in every row of the house built by golu there was one hen and there were 10 such rows was the house built by golu correct as per the conditions stated by the king was he able to make space for all the hens in that house in the house built by golu there were 10 rows and each row had one hen this way every row had an equal number of hens now was the total number of hens in golu's house 10 how will we write it in the form of multiplication 10 multiplied with 1 10 multiplied with 1 is 10 golu had built the house perfectly the king gave 10 gold coins as the prize now the king arrived to see the house built by chanda chanda had made use of five rows to build the house like this for hens and each row had two hens in them was the house built by chanda correct five rows and two hens in each row is the number of hens in each row equal yes does the number of hens in the house equal to 10 5 multiplied with 2 make 10 Oh wow! Chanda has also built the house perfectly. The king gave 10 gold coins to Chanda too. Finally, the king arrived to see the house built by Appu. Appu had made a two row house. He has placed 5 hens in each row. Did Appu also get 10 gold coins as a prize from the king? Yes, you have given the right answer. Appu made the house perfectly and got the prize from the king. Children, as per the conditions stated by the king, can you build the house for hands in any other way? Absolutely right. We can build the house for the hands by placing Ten hens in one row as well. Children, if you look closely, then you will find that here we have written ten as four different forms of multiplication. So this is how we can write any number as a multiplication of two numbers. the two numbers that form part of the multiplication are known as factors here 1 2 5 and 10 are factors of 10 children in this lesson we learned about factors of multiplication in the next two lessons we will see some interesting examples of the same
Today we will learn more about factors of multiplication. People from Champapur are making plans to go on a picnic. They have to arrange for some buses for the picnic. The seating should be such that the number of people sitting in every row is equal. The first bus operators sent a bus in which only one person can sit in a row. And there are six such rows. Can people sit in a bus like this? To find the answer to this question, we will need to find the factors of six. Do you want to learn an easy method to find factors? It is very simple. We need to identify the number tables in which the number 6 appears. Come, let's start with the table of 1. Does number 6 appear in the table of 1? Yes, 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. Therefore, 6 people can sit in this bus in 6 rows with 1 person sitting in each row. So, children, can you find out more such buses where six people can sit? But remember that the number of people in each row should be equal. Let's find all the factors of six and solve this puzzle. Does the number six appear in the table of two? Yes, three multiplied by two is six. Therefore, 2 is the factor of 6. So, if 2 people sit in each of 3 rows, how many people would be able to sit? 6. Now, let's look at the table of 3. Does the number 6 appear in the table of 3? 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Therefore, 3 is the factor of 6. So, if three people sit in each of two rows, how many people in total would be sitting on the bus? Six. Now, let's check the table of four. Does the number six appear in table of four? No. Therefore, four is not the factor of number six. In other words, if in a bus, four people sit in each row, then six people will be able to sit in two rows. But the number of people in each row will not be equal. Similarly, if we look at the table of five, then we will find that five is also not a factor of number six. So a bus in which five people sit in each row will not be of any use to the villagers. Now, let's look at the table of 6. Does the number 6 appear in the table of 6? Yes, 1 multiplied with 6 is 6. Therefore, 6 is also the factor of number 6. So, one line and 6 people in each line is a good option. Today we saw that 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the factors of the number 6 and 4 and 5 are not factors of 6. So you see, by finding all the factors of 6, we help the villagers. Children, we can find the factors of any number by using the multiplication table. Now, why don't you try to play this game of finding factors of number 8 with your friends? So children, in this lesson, we learned a unique method of finding factors of any number. In the next chapter, we will learn different ways to use these factors. Children, in this lesson, 
we will learn the use of factors by multiplication. You all know, Bablu is very naughty. One day, while roaming around, he went far into the forest and reached the other village. There, he saw a big house. Bablu thought that he will rest there for a while and went inside the house. As he walked in, he saw three boxes on the table and in each box there were ten apples. Can you tell how many apples were there in total? How will we write this by using multiplication? Three multiplied by ten. Now, using the multiplication of three, how many are these? Thirty. Bablu was very hungry. Of the three boxes, one of the box had delicious red apples. Bablu ate a few apples from that box. Now, Bablu went to a room. It was a huge room with two cupboards. Each cupboard had five shelves. Can you find out how many shelves were there in total? How will we write this by using multiplication? Two multiplied with five. How much is it? Ten. Bablu took a few toys from one of those cupboards and started playing with them. Now Bablu again started to feel hungry. In the room, he saw a box of sweets that looked like this. The box contained a total of 35 laddus. There were seven vertical slots in the box. Can you tell how many laddus were there in each vertical slot? This question can be written in multiplication form like this. Now, can you make use of the method of Finding factors learned in the last lesson and find the answer to this puzzle. You just have to find out when does 35 appear in the table of 7. So what multiplied with 7 is 35? 5 multiplied with 7. Each slot of the box had 5 laddus. Bablu ate a lot of laddus and started feeling sleepy. Bablu slept on the bed. Suddenly, Bablu heard some voices. When Bablu tried to see in his half-asleep state, everything looked hazy to him. And he could only see 18 buttons. If every person present there had six buttons each on their shirt then can you tell how many people were standing there yes you have solved it correctly three people were standing in front of bablu actually bablu had reached bubu bear's house Bubu and his family were surprised to see him there. The moment Bablu saw Bubu, he ran away and did not return back again. Children, in this chapter, we learned some interesting uses of factors.